it's quite early and quite dark but I'm gonna make my way uh, to an event that I signed up for but I'm gonna get there before sunrise so it's gonna be biking in the dark I hope it's fun Okay, I feel a lot safer with these bollards here, the green lights, uh, but I still can't help get nervous when all these trucks come zooming by. In the Philippines, we actually have uh, a traffic ban for trucks from a certain time. They're not allowed to be uh, flying the roads. But of course, in the, when it's out of rush hour, that's when they're allowed to go. And um, now being very early morning, uh, this is when they're out trying to get their goods to where they're going. So yeah, they can zoom by, son of a gun. Okay, I followed the bike lanes and uh, they're taking me away from where I was going. So I decided to pick up my bike and walk over to the other side. Okay, and now we carry on. I'm not going very fast because one, it's dark. Second is that um, our bike lanes here are not necessarily the safest places to be. So, you gotta be careful when you can't really see well. I've got my uh, headlights, 700 lumens here, trying to save the battery so I don't have it on the brightest mode, but definitely bright enough especially in between uh, street lights. It's enough for me to see what's ahead. Okay, we've got all those trucks in the bike lane, so I'm actually opening up. Oh, here we are. I'll go back in. Oops, not there. Okay, here. There we go. Okay, being on the bike lane of a major thoroughfare is like starring in a uh, thriller movie. Riveting, exciting, edge of your seat. Except that uh, ha, you're the main action star here. And you'll definitely get hurt. They don't pull punches. Not in this real life segment okay I don't have the ball arts anymore to protect me but at least the paint kind of like acknowledges that I'm supposed to be here Beside the tollway, but I decided to take this uh, this side of the tollway because it's smoother compared to the other side of the service road. It doesn't mean I can travel any faster. It just makes it more comfortable, I guess. Okay, ah, away from the main roads. 
I come into a sleeping CBD. Much quieter. Thank goodness. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time for the gun start, but I didn't get up early enough and I didn't want to go fast enough. So I'll just get with I'll just get there when I get there. Um, then I'll just join the route. I'm not out doing any podium slots or what. dark I've biked this road many times but I don't think I've been here or have I at night it's still dark ah, that's my alarm to get up to bike I actually have had half the mind to uh, just jump in the car and drive over and then I realized that my two sons and my wife they all had plans for all the cars already so I had no choice when we were planning this I said oh yeah that's okay I'm gonna take my bike and then when I woke up late I was like well, I have no choice. I'm gonna take my bike. <laughs> I'm not sure if you could see it because of the, well, the camera and its ability to take in the low light and the street lights, but uh, I think I can see the purpling of the sky already. This is uh, close to sunrise. My favorite time of day. My favorite time of day. Okay, I'm near the event area. That's why I guess they've redirected traffic already. I'm seeing a lot of people wearing the same jersey. The event jersey. Ha! Huh. Almost there. Okay, I passed the entrance. I'm heading back and uh, we'll find my way to the sideline, but it seems like I'm not the only guy late. Well, it was very early anyway. What an early start they chose. Unless they already started. Okay, I see people milling about. Um, but I don't see any of the organizers I don't hear the usual loud MC at the start line I wonder if I found the right place it says finish but guards on your start oh okay well no wonder <laughs> Okay, let's head to the start line. Okay, I think I made it. I think I made it. Um, that was about 37 kilometers from where I started. I think the most difficult part was that most of it was at night, in the dark. And uh, if you think of the places I pass, I normally pass those places daytime. 
but now doing it in the dark I couldn't go as fast as I used to so I had to a lot for slower speeds ah and here we are see more people and a drone okay now let's just eavesdrop and uh, Meanwhile, I'm gonna have a bite to eat. I should always remember to cut open the tops of these things so I don't struggle. Oh, national anthem. Still struggling. Let's do it. the Vermosa um, area and you can feel the energy in the air so bright like the Sun <laughs> no, so these are the guys who started the 60 kilometer route um, that's why there was a motorcycle marshalling everybody back on one lane so I guess it's not a one directional loop it's actually a, a back and forth thing but for safety reasons as if we were driving a car we stay on our lane they didn't close it off entirely well they did for all the cyclists but they didn't close it off and make it in just one direction It's actually quite cool before the sun fully comes up and I can imagine by the time it reaches high in the sky it's gonna heat the land and create a lot of headwind oh, enjoying it while it lasts The organizers of this event they're also organizers of triathlons um, uh, very well organized triathlons but you can see that that the u-turn style is very triathlon it's uh you know, you might not find that in uh, endurance races and etc but it is fine keeping us contained in one area and kept us uh, keeping us uh, safe <laughs> nice we got marshals everywhere and they've closed off this section of the road morning I'm on your left morning On your left, I'm on your left. That's gonna earn him some. 
some brownie points for sure, right? Good man. So they send us out into the loop. That was a 20 kilometer loop. Done the first bit, heading out to do the second. Hello, good morning. So they really set this up as a fun ride and you could bring the family and get the kids started in a very safe place. Well done Sun Life. Well done Veramosa. Remember I was talking about the headwind? Yeah, it's starting. Okay, I computed the laps wrong, partly because I guess of the creeping fatigue, partly because it's a weekend and my brain does not do math on weekends. But each lap is about 15 kilometers. So they set us out for my last third. That will make me 45 by the time I get back to the finish line. So, almost there. And we're done, we're done with just, just the event. So we're still gonna go home. But it was fun, it was nice, it was relaxed. It was very well organized. I like that. Gonna be using uh, uh, the meal stub before I head out home. Oh, they're giving us medals. 45. Is it all the same? Oh, thank you very much. Thanks. What? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Earned it. So very well organized. See, even after the finish line, they give you the medals far away so you don't really block the finish line. And they've got their hydration and their meals here. Very, very well organized. That was a fun event, nice and easy. Um, it was so nice to see a lot of children as well with their parents. It's so nice to see. But now we've got work to do. We've got work to do. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Gotta get myself a bite to eat. Done with, with, done with my breakfast and the much needed calories. Now we carry home. What? No. Done with breakfast and the much needed calories. And now I'm heading home. <laughs> Son of a gun.
them back over well about a hundred eighteen kilometers done not very difficult 670 meters in elevation gain for today I think the toughest part was biking in the dark in those busy roads um, would be better if I actually had a friend with me or yeah as long as I would have been alone that would have been easier but it was fun then we get to Vermosa and I end joining uh, I end up joining that fun race which was uh, nice to see family fun there and time to get back in good time I had loads of fun and if you did too please like subscribe and hit the notification bell cheers